Spend idling time on admiring the scenery, the spectacled snake-bedecked docks doing surgery. Hello, you busy bees, and what do you have to discuss with the funeral director today? Actually, don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm, from the looks on your faces, you've got some questions for me. <laughs> Guilty as charged! So, um, we were just a little curious about Baiju's master. What was he like? Oh, and also, how come you and Baiju could tell so quickly that Jia Liang had god remains in his system? Huh? I thought I told you once before. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor was first founded to fight back against the vengeful wrath of gods defeated in war. <laughs> well, it is a dusty old tale by this point. Long story short, in the ancient world, dead gods were acting up, so our ancestors started purifying the air and burning the bodies of the deceased to guard the border between life and death. These days, we don't deal with the wrath of the gods anymore, but all the relevant know-how is still passed down to each generation, so we can identify gods' remains when we see them. Okay, Paimon gets it now. Wait, so how did Baiju learn to spot them? Almost certainly from his master, who was also my great-uncle. Baiju's master was my grandpa's younger brother, a former deputy director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Wow, fancy that! Huh. Uh, so, if he was from Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor, how did he end up as Baiju's master? According to my grandpa, he and my great uncle once went traveling together when they were young. They ended up at Chen Yu Vale, where they met a pharmacist. That pharmacist must have cast some sort of spell on my great uncle, because after that encounter, he suddenly announced he wanted to leave the family business and go practice medicine instead. My grandpa had a huge argument with him, but he couldn't convince him to stay. So my grandpa inherited the funeral parlor, while my great uncle stayed in Chen Yu Vale to practice medicine. They never spoke to each other again. Funeral director to doctor is a pretty big career change. Kinda hard to imagine. But why did it drive a wedge between them for the rest of their lives? That seems a bit extreme. If he had just become a regular doctor, there would have been no issue. After all, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wasn't unlike a regular doctor's clinic in the early days. But according to my grandpa, the pharmacist they met had a very ominous aura about him. And on top of that, the kind of medicine practiced in the Chen Yu Vale tradition goes against the natural order of things. In what way? Don't know. My grandpa didn't know the specifics. And you've seen how wary Baiju is around me. He'd never tell me anything. But even that says to me that he definitely has something to hide. One thing I do know about Baiju is that he's obsessed with the idea of immortality. But whether that has anything to do with what he's hiding is hard to say. Anyway, so... I will be sticking around here for now to keep a close eye on the situation. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally figure out what he's up to. <sighs> After all that, it seems like we have more questions than answers. Never mind. We'll just have to ask Baiju himself about all of this tomorrow. Oh, uh, while you're here, have either of you seen Chi Chi around? It's not every day I get to infiltrate Baiju's lair, but alas, I didn't catch a single glimpse of her anywhere. Aha! Uh -huh. What if... Baiju knew I'd be on the lookout for her and hid her away in advance. She's finally gone. Uh, she's gone for good now, right? 